this is Krabakaran. I like to explain about helicopters. This is a series, a series of lectures based on uh, helicopters. Uh, we see from a basic what is a helicopter is. So first lecture we just go for uh, history of helicopters and we have some small comparison between a fixed wing aircraft and, uh, and rotary wing aircraft. So rotary wing aircraft indirectly I'm saying that it's helicopters. Okay. So first we see about uh, history of helicopters. So history of helicopter we can look uh, look for literature. We can able to see four at 400 BC. We can able to see some Chinese stories. Will be uh, we have uh, we have a picture that uh, Chinese stories will be trying to have flying machines of our vertical uh, fl vertical flights. So this is a uh, 400 BC. We have uh, a small uh, propeller blades. Uh, nowadays also we can able to see in uh, some Chinese toys they have uh, some small propeller blades at the uh, top and a small straw like a structure at the bottom. We make it to fly. So this is a uh, this is uh, we can able to find this kind of similar type uh, type of uh, machines at 400 BC itself. So for, uh, this is our uh, base we can say. From this uh, people are uh, trying to invent some flying machines for vertical takeoff we can say. So we can able to see some vertical uh, Flying machine, successful vertical flying machine, that is helicopters, will be invented in 1939. So, first helicopter will be invented in Sikorsky so, at 1939. So, see the difference of the huge difference of the here from here to here. So, this is an invention time you can say. Parallel, we have one more track for a fixed wing aircraft. So, fixed wing aircraft, all you know that 1903 will be your first uh, flying, uh, flying machines by Wade Brothers, right? So Wade Brothers for friend fixed wing you can say, fixed wing. But we can't be able to see uh, this kind of fixed wing uh, designs be, uh, year year for uh, year year uh, things but uh, we, uh, anyway we can we found some uh, flying machines at 19, not 3 will be a fixed wing case whereas we have uh, rotary wing, even though we have uh, uh, earlier research in uh, rotary wing aircraft, we used to find this, uh, invent this uh, successful flights at 1939. Uh, you may ask why huge use uh, delay. Uh, why, uh, this uh, research should be started very earlier compared to your fixed wing aircraft, but still, uh, after inventing of your uh, fixed wing aircraft, after 36 years of uh, later only you can able to invent the uh, helicopter, successful helicopter. You may ask why, why this huge delay. So this uh, huge delay basically about uh, on the studying of uh, rotor dynamics, rotor dynamics, rotor dynamics. This all because of rotor aerodynamics of your helicopters. We, in this lecture series, we see what is the uh, we start from a basic of helicopter and go very deep of helicopters. We have a, we have a plan to start from a lecture series. Okay, so this due to this rotor dynamics, rotor dynamics will be uh, to understanding the rotor dynamics. We take huge years. So because this uh, phenomena will vary from uh, each and every part, we will cover those things on the upcoming videos. So this is your uh, small uh, clips about your helicopters and fixed wing aircraft. So all you know, so uh, before going to that, I have to make sure that what is uh, uh, fixed wing and rotor wing aircrafts. Uh, fixed wing aircraft has a wing that will be fixed to the body, it doesn't rotate. And so it is a for fixed wing, I can say. Rotor wing, you can say helicopters. It also have a wing. This wing used to rotate. So the concept of fixed wing, I say some small propeller will be fixed in a wing. The concept of fixed wing is the wing of your aeroplane will be fixed. Only the propeller uh, and, uh, and how this uh, you may ask how uh, this lift produces the lift producing mechanism of the aircraft. This is aircraft and uh, helicopters. Helicopters or um, rotate wing. So fixed wing, rotary wing. So we see uh, what is the basic principle behind this and this. So basically, whatever aircraft, fixed wing aircraft we see, the aircraft used to fly due to this forward motion. We used to have some propulsion device. So consider this is a propulsion device which is attached in your front of your aircraft. This propulsion device makes your aircraft to move forward. Due to this movement of forward, the air that will hit your wing part and you should generate a component called lift. 
Okay, so this is your uh, top view of an airplane. If I uh, draw a uh, front view or side view, you have some clear picture. So this is your wing. This is a lift. And always you know that uh, this uh, weight, overall weight will be pointing downwards. You do that. This is a W. It always pointing downwards. So this due to movement of your, and we have some small propulsion device at the front. What it used to do is, it used to suck the air and make the airplane to move forward. So due to this motion, the air actually hit the blades and we can able to provide a force called lift. This lift directly balance your weight, so automatically I can able to fly in air. So this is your basic limbs of your uh, fixed wing aircraft, whereas we can directly go for rotary wing aircraft. So here this, uh, there is no forward motion required for your uh, rotary wing aircraft, there is only for uh, rotor motion. So this due to the rotation of, we have a huge rotor blade at the top, you have seen much helicopters have huge helicopter rotor blades. When uh, this, uh, not to generate a lift, not to generate the same lift force, what the helicopter used to do is, it used to uh, rotate the propeller blades or rotor blades I can say, this is rotor blades. Rotor blades higher RPM, it automatically used to generate lift force. Lift force. This is for hovering case, we see the alien, we have always a weight at a down, downward pointing. When the lift produced by the system will be higher compared to your weight, automatically we can able to fly how this uh, machine used to be fly. Okay, so this is your uh, basic things about your uh, fixed wing aircraft and rotary wing aircraft. So then we see what is a what are the component which present the major components which present in the helicopters. Then we conclude the class today. This is rotor blades and uh, this is your airframe, this this uh, main rotor I can say, main rotor, tail rotor, we have slash plate in between, okay, so landing here. So these are the primary parts, we have uh, more parts inside, you see little details inside. Uh, inside. <coughs> so as I said, uh, we have uh, this main, uh, this main rotor, tail rotor, we have to uh, see, mm, okay, any parts are left, that's it, okay, good. So main rotor, tail rotor, and then landing here. So these are the main components of your uh, helicopters, not to have a flying engines. Okay, so first the rotors, uh, I just explain about your rotors. So we have some small uh, link between this and this, see, this main rotor have a user in diameter, whatever helicopter you see, the rotor blades will be very higher in diameter, so diameter will be higher 5 times than your tail rotors. Say for example, this is uh, 5 into x, this is x time, that is 5 times bigger than your, your uh, tail rotor this main rotor blade. Just, uh, how this used to be do is, uh, when the blade used to rotate, it automatically sucks the air from the top and it used to push it down, then uh, automatically if, if amount of air, whatever you sucks down, say for example, I uh, so taking a thousand kgs of air, kgs per second, this is flow rate, right? So 1000 kgs of air will be downward, automatically if my, say for example my aircraft will be um, same I can say 1000 kgs, then I can able to hover in a space, hover I can able to, so next weight of your aircraft will be 1000, 
then lift produced by your uh, helicopter will be your uh, thousand. Then you can able to hover in a fixed place. So this is your uh, basic aims. Any if you have any doubts, please put me as in comments. We just uh, go ahead. Hmm? So from next class, we see what are the components. What is your main data? What is your importance of main data? What is the aerodynamics of main data? And uh, what is your aerodynamics of your tail data? What is your uh, and landing gear functions, what is your control needs. So uh, this, uh, this week uh, covering upcoming videos. Thank you so much.